Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're doing great and thank you so much for having me here today virtually at the Gear Up World Leadership Summit 2023. So I'm really really happy to be here and hopefully I can share a valuable message to you. Well, Girls in Quanto was originally intended to be a community oriented like in my city here in Villa Alemana which is in Chile, um, in my city uh, for my schoolmates and also well for my school. Um, but yeah, I had the possibility of getting into this world of quantum computing and quantum mechanics thanks to this scholarship, full scholarship that I received from IBM where I got immersed into this quantum mechanics course learning ab about uh, different topics and, and yeah, it was really fascinating for me but um, also what I found the most sort of, I don't know, surprising for me was encountering this community of enthusiasts and people that were highly motivated to learn more um, they were like, I don't know, so enthusiastic about learning learning about coding or about, I don't know, different topics. Um, so I was really happy about that and I, want, I wanted to recreate like the same for my school here. Um, and I told myself like, what, what if I do something like in my school, perhaps like sharing that with other students, share educational resources perhaps or videos with what I've learned in the course. And I messaged through Zoom uh, the students because we were like a thousand and mentioned about collaborating with, with me and perhaps doing something and some of them reply and tell me like yes Elisa uh, let's do it um so a girl from US, USA joined a girl from Spain and a girl from Africa first um and I was so happy about that we were learning with each other about quantum computing we were doing these educational resources and we were sharing that with other students because uh, my main purpose right there was okay, if I had the chance of having this scholarship, of getting immersed in this program, why not sharing this with other students who perhaps do not have the same access or the same opportunities? So we started with that, we started sharing that with other languages as well to have like this sort of, uh, I don't know, more access to these resources to other students. Um, and yeah, that's how Girls in Quantum become this sort of international organization after a lot of effort and of course this team collaboration. And why I mentioned this is because you can do the same. I mean, if you want to do an initiative, if you have something in mind, an idea, uh, the three things that I always, always highlight is team collaboration, social impact, and also they sort of, I don't know, having role models, that's, that's the word. Uh, and someone that can support you. So for me, teamwork has been essential throughout all the, the time that I started with Years in Quantum. Uh, the students and girls have helped me organize different seminars, webinars, many things that I didn't expect before. So yeah, team collaboration is not just what your teachers or perhaps your parents say, t tell you about. Uh, it's not just, okay, it's important. It's because it's actually essential for everything. So I'm, I'm telling you because uh, Girls in Quantum has uh, taught me that. And, and the second thing is that the social impact, I, I think that from the first day of Girls in Quantum, I had the idea of uh, reaching more students, reaching more girls, especially uh, that, well, you may know the devastating gender gap out there, especially because there's a STEM is a field of, well, highly dominated by male. Um, you can see much more males involved. So what we want is to encourage more girls to become part of it. Um, and the third thing is the support and also role models. I've read some books, for example, The Code Breaker about Jennifer Dudna. I have, uh, well, talked with different students around the world that inspire me every day. Perhaps we're having a lot of issues in, in quantum computing or, I don't know, in quantum computing, but in girls in quantum because organizing many activities. But however, those students inspire me to, to do more, to go ahead and face those challenges. Of course, it's not always easy, but they always encourage me and support me as I do. So I think that those three things are really essential for me, uh, creating this sort of social impact. It's not necessarily to be international, but it can be with your community, with your neighborhood, with your schoolmates. Um, it doesn't need to be globally. I, I, I think that the thing, if you like something, if you want to create an issue, go ahead, go find a team. There's well, many, many opportunities online that you can search for, educational opportunities out there. So go ahead. Um, I, I believe you can do it um, as any other girl can do it. So yeah, let's go ahead and do the social impact together. And yeah, please enjoy the day. Bye. Take care. Thank you for having me.